Harry Harry the Solar Potato, and this is What If Naruto Gave Up on Sasuke Part 2. So, yeah. Let me do a recap on what happened last time. Naruto, who actually went to go get Sasuke, gave up on that little mission. Instead, he decided to drop off his mask and actually show his true colors. His true colors and actually trying to show the village that he will show them that he is a true demon. Of course, Sasuke decides to do, well, I mean, they both switch roles, and of course, Sasuke decides to try to bring Naruto back, because Naruto's actually his last family member. Since Naruto's Uchiha, half Uzumaki, and half Namikaze. So, he is somewhat technically not, uh, well, Sasuke's somewhat cousin. But, with that happening... They fought, and of course, Sasuke did get his lights knocked out by Naruto, and Naruto did manage to leave. Now, of course, Kabuto did try to get uh, Sasuke, but of course, Kakashi came out of nowhere to door the hell out of Kabuto and kill them. Now, of course, they did say that I think Kabuto was stronger than Kakashi, but um, for Kakashi strong. So, of course, uh, they get to the village... Um, Sasuke wakes up, Tsunade asks questions, Tsunade is pissed because she refused to believe that, well, Naruto has betrayed the village. And of course, after that, uh, they, uh, Yamanaka leader and Uichi did kind of went through uh, Sasuke's mind and of course finds out about this and that, about Naruto. And of course, this is where they did get rid of the old advisors like uh, Donzo and the other two. Because Sasuke reveals that they were traitors or not. And of course kills the old one. Except for Donzo. Donzo managed to escape with Ru Ambos. Naruto is in the cave. This is where we go into Naruto. We go into a three year time skip. Sasuke is now. I would say. So they were 13. Now they'll be 16. Actually not. Screw them being 16. That'll be 17. Screw it. So it's a four year time skip. Sasuke is now 17, but Naruto is 17. Naruto has been training in this cave for so long that he actually created his own weapons from, well, minerals that he found around the cave. So yeah. But Naruto's overpowered now. He has trained with Kurama, and even both Kurama and Naruto have actually did a, um, what's it called? They both sync together. So they both combine their chakra to be able to kind of go into a KCM mode. It's imperfect. Well, not imperfect. They managed to get rid of the seal, but it still won't give, him, uh, give Naruto enough chakra for him to go into a perfect KCM. Until he finds the key. This is where, well, Sasuke is actually had to be trained by Jiraiya to actually kind of get in the same power level. As a Jinchuriki or close enough. So yeah. With that happened. Jiraiya had to train Sasuke instead of Naruto. Which he. Well not Jiraiya. Not Jiraiya. Jiraiya did not train Sasuke. Instead Kakashi. So yeah. Sasuke decides to be trained with what to call Tsunade. And of course. Well Team 7 will have to be Sai. Sai will actually. Actually Sai is not the uh, what to call person that's actually going to be on team 7. Instead, it's a girl by the name of uh, Sadana, who's actually from a clan that's, well, not very well known, but it's a small clan. Sadana is specialized in water and ice, close to that of the Yuki clan, the Hydroton, but water, ice, and even um that of what they call snow. So, like, kind of like yeah. But, yeah. This is where, well, she is kind of put on Team 7. Because she was recommended by her clan. To be, and she is strong. Sasuke, he doesn't feel any emotion to her or anything like that. Because he is kind of still what's called dating. Well, not dating. He actually got very interested with Sasuke, okay? So that would still be the same. Now, of course, this is where they kind of do the uh, bell test with Kakashi. But let me go into Naruto. Naruto. After training for so long, 
he became stronger. That he actually has a lot of jutsus. And even those jutsus that he read on the Forbidden Scroll, the ones that he couldn't get to, like, practice, like the, well, Flying Raijin, or water techniques that he saw from the second Hokage, the third Hokage, and even the fourth Hokage. So, yeah, he is that strong. He remembers all of those. So, yeah. Now, this is where Naruto, he's out of the cave, and now is looking... To kill the Akatis first, because, well, the Akatis are the problem for him. And then, kill and murder the Leaf Village. But yeah, this is where Naruto actually gets sidetracked by some, well, sound ninjas. The sound ninjas try to attack Naruto, and Naruto rips, just ripped them apart, all of them. Because Naruto's not dealing with their shit. And of course, well, Naruto kills him with his swords. Now, I should mention one thing. Naruto's swords are, well, made out of different materials. That Naruto actually could have overheat. So, Naruto doesn't need, like, a furnace or anything like that to, like, overheat it and use what's called this and that. He managed to find chakra metal, very pure chakra metal, so he combined it into a sword. And, yeah. He also, well... Found sapphire and ruby, and instead of like combine, uh, making what's called a sword or anything, he made two scythes. So these are the two scythes that he kind of made. So yeah, it'd be sapphire and ruby made out of. Of course, they had like a glowish kind of color. So if Naruto adds what's called water and fire to these two scythes, they will glow into well the colors. Of course, so that's what happens. Naruto kills him with only chakra metal sword. So yeah, Naruto is now walking out of the what's called cave, and of course he needs new clothes. Well, he did take some of the clothes from the sound ninjas, but yeah. But yeah, he's now going to go to a village. Now you're probably wondering what did Naruto really eat when he was somewhere in the cave. He ate what to call some animals when he got out and got hungry. Yeah, he went kind of for fishing and all that. But yeah, now, Jirai does not know where Naruto went exactly or at all. But Naruto, he is out of the cave. He is, well, he would have been like 5'9 like in the original canyon like that. But on this one, he's actually 6'3. He is tall. So yeah, when he is like 5, or not 5, he is 6'3", and of course he is now just going out. So of course he does have what's called his Monokyo Sharingan, because he has trained with Kurama. That instead of like involving to the Monokyo Sharingan, which it did, but involved further when of course the QB chakra was added into it. So... The problem is with uh instead of going into the EMS, which he can't really get into the EMS or anything, he involved it into that of well a Sharingan call uh what's called. So this is the eye that he unlocked with what's called having the combine of the QB power. But also somehow managed to involve the Sharingan into having like purple lightning around. So yeah, it is called the internalist, uh, internalist purple lightning and flame Sharingan. It would have turned into like a Renegon, but it kind of went into this. So this a bit, uh, this like Sharingan is way stronger than that of the EMS, and combined with that the Renegon. We're well, not combining with that the Renegon, just the Renegon. But yeah, but with that happening. This is where Naruto is out of the cave. And it's now just walking out of it. Going to the nearest village to get some clothes. Now, they have what's called heard about Gara what's called. So let me go into Team 7. So Team 7 started fighting. Now Sasuke is right now trying to fight against Kakashi. Sasuke is trying to punch Kakashi. And right now, Savannah is trying to freeze Kakashi. So yeah. Of course, Sabana is, well, a girl, and of course, they don't have much of a teamwork, what's it called, 
with Sasuke and Sasuke. Because they're kind of used to Naruto because how he was reckless and all that. But Sabana is like smarter and kind of calculated. So yeah. So this is where, well, they managed to get a hit on what's called Kakashi. And Kakashi says, you know what, that's good enough. You got to do a treat and work anyway. So yeah. Of course, they got the first like C rank mission, or not C rank mission, a mission to get Gara from the Akatsis back. Now, Naruto, after he went to the village to get some clothes, so his clothes are just fully black. It's a black, like what's called black jacket, black pants, black sandals, and well, he has a black coat for all of it. So this is where Naruto is trying to go look for the nearest Akatsuki and kill them. So right now, he actually goes to Suna just to visit uh, what's called Gara. Even though he had a fake mask for uh, Gara, he already knows about the Jinchuriki. So he thinks about it. Maybe the one tails was captured by what's called the Akatsuki. Kurama says, "I think so." We then never have a connection with uh, Shikaku. So let's go. So our Naruto speed bullets towards the sand village. Of course, Naruto sees the destruction of the sand village when he gets there. But this is where he sees Team 7. And someone new. Someone interesting to him. A girl with like light blue hair. That's what she has. And kind of like white spots. Like snow. Which Naruto gets interesting, but he doesn't care. Now, of course, they are going towards the sand village while Naruto actually sees the Akatsis flying, well, not flying, a bird. He actually tries to, well, he activates his, what's called, his true, well, his actual, um, internalist. His, uh, what's it called, internal shotgun. That's how it looks like the, nah. So he tried to sense or see where the Akatsis actually went. So when Kakashi's team manager went to the sand village, where Naruto found the right trace for the Akatsis. That's where Naruto runs for the Akatsis. And hoping that Team 7 takes a little too long there. So he can actually really kill what's called the Akatsis. So, we go to Naruto right now, getting close to where the Akatsis left their trail and all that. And Naruto sees that they're in a cave. Naruto starts wanting to attack. And of course, Kurama says, like this. Then, like, do it already. Naruto says, got it. So, back to Team 7. Sasuke actually heals Conqueror, and Conqueror does give them, like, what's called a trace to where Gara was last seen. So, when Team 7 is, like, nodding and saying, let's go then, of course, they get the old lady to actually come and all that because she's actually wanting to see if Sasuke would be there. So, Naruto, he breaks through the, what to call, just a cave, just to make a bigger hole so he can walk in there. And, of course, both Sasuke and Data stop trying to, well, extract the one tails. And, of course, the Akashi says that the nine tails. This is where Pain says, capture him now. Of course, Pain's, uh, what's called Pain and others could not really extract the one tails. But, if they capture the nine tails, then that's a less problem. So yeah, both Sasori and Daedra tries to fight against what's called Naruto. Naruto, he kicks uh, Daedra away, very far away. Like, he fucking kicks the shit out of him. Now, he's right now fighting against Sasori. And right now, Naruto is just toying with Sasori. Because Naruto can easily break that stupid puppet that Sasori is in. And rip him out and break Sasori's body because he's basically made out of puppets. He's basically a puppet. So, when that is happening, Naruto, he's just playing with him, dodging like needles and all. Naruto is actually just testing out his strength and speed because he could never actually test it out. But yeah, he's testing it out on an S rank ninja. So, when he's just dodging and all that, he's having fun. This is where Data kind of landed near Team 7 and all that. Because he got kicked real far. This is where Team 7 noticed that the Akatsis is right now. One of the Akatsis. And wondering why this Akatsis is here. Of course, Kakashi and 
Sasuke decides to fight it. Well, not Kakashi Sasuke. Kakashi Sasuke. Uh, Savana, where I went, but Savana actually went with Sasuke and, and uh, what's it called the old lady also went. Because, yeah. So Kakashi and Sasuke are right now fighting against what's called, well, Daedara. And I know it's a terrible duo, but yeah, whatever. Now, of course, Sasuke is trying to punch at Daedara, but Daedara is just flying around. And saying Kai, of course, Kakashi uses lightning to really just fry off the um, explosions and all. His like creation. And Kakashi noticed that lightning is actually his big, bleh, biggest weakness. So yeah, he starts kind of using lightning juice to kind of fight against Daedara. So of course with that happening, this is where Kakashi is right now just using a bunch of lightning juice. Sasuke is trying to punch at well, Daedara. Man, when Kakashi's stunned at what's called uh, Daedra in the sky, Sasuke is trying to just punch him back to the ground a lot, which she is having no luck. So, yeah. But, we go back into Naruto. Naruto easily broke the little, uh, what's called a puppet and was trying to grab Sasuke from the puppet because he shoved his hand to the puppet, grabbing uh, Sasuke, smashing him to the cave and saying, ah... Don't worry, red hair, uh, Sasuri. Is that your name, Mike? <laughs> I'll kill you and David later. Or, not later. I'll kill you right now and I go after that blonde haired bastard. Of course, David says, Don't underestimate me, Nine Tails. <laughs> oh, is that really what you call me? I'm gonna have to kill you. Bastard. So, Team 7 doesn't get anywhere near me. So, when, of course, Naruto's right now just speed blitzing what's called Sasuke. Sasuke's trying to use his puppets, but all his puppets just get sliced into nothing but just pieces. So, Sasuke is shocked. Naruto has this sword. The sword is made out of chakra metal, but what it kind of looks like is... So, this is a sword that Naruto is using. It's kind of curvy, the blade and all that. So yeah, Naruto's using it to try to cut Sasori down, and Sasori is dodging. Now, of course, this is where Naruto adds like his red, uh, what's it called, uh, the QB chakra to kill Sasori. And right now, Sasori is getting cut down very easily. Now back to Deidara. So Deidara is right now losing to I to well, Kakashi and even what's it called Sasura. But of course, he decides to just dip on this fight because he's really just losing. He, he was about to get Chidori until his last explosion clone that was only a clone. So, yeah. So, yeah, that happened. But this is where, well, Sasuke and uh, Savannah and also uh, Chiu, or whatever her name is, gets to where Sa uh, Sasori's at. And Sasori has the sword. At his like heart or like the weak point, I forgot what it's called. But yeah, this is where he has the sword coming through his back, and this is where both well, Chio, Savana, and Sasuke are all confused, and how well someone must have cut. But this is where Sasuke sees the blade, and it's way too curvy for any normal blade. Chio even notices Savana; she noticed that also, but she thought it was kind of weird. Who has that kind of blade? It's where Sasuke falls forward. Naruto takes his blade out and cleans it a little bit just from all the oil or whatever because Sasuke does not have any blood. Or he does, but does he? Fuck, I don't remember. But yeah, he just cleans it. And this is where Naruto kind of laughs and says, Ha, you fucking weakling. This is where he kind of looks up because he was looking at Sasuke's dead body just fall down and down. And he looks up in front of him and he sees Sasuke. Sasuke says, Naruto. Naruto says, Sasuke, how are you doing? <laughs> this is where Savannah says, uh, she is confused. Because she never met Naruto. Naruto, even though he was what's called in what's called the class, being the class clown. She wasn't in the same classroom as, well, Sasuke, Naruto, and the others. She was in another classroom. But yeah, 
And also, she's kind of just having this weird kind of like both lightning clashing to each other. Naruto has red lining while Sasuke has blue lining just clashing each other. And she's just having this awkward just standing next to Sasuke. Chill just walks uh, forward and says to kill him. Naruto says, so what if I did? And that Kasi bastard should have never freaking went against me. Now, time to get Kagara out of the freaking thing. That's where Sasuke says, are you coming back to the village after you help Gara? Naruto looks up and says, oh, fuck no. You really still think I am having good in my heart, Sasuke. It was all just a mask. Get it through your, your school. I was never your friend. Stop thinking I am your friend. And this is where Sasuke, he gets kind of angry. Because he thought that Naruto would just change after four years. He has, he changed, yes. He's more freaking rude since the last time he met him. But he's like, he gets angry and actually charges at Naruto. This is where Chill and Savannah try to stop what caused Sasuke from trying to stab at Naruto's back. But this is where Naruto dodges the attack. It was just a punch. That's where Naruto says, like, Sasuke, that's a little reckless of you to try to punch me in the back. We're just allies right now. But you know, it can all change. This is where Naruto pulls out his sword. Sasuke pulls out his sword. Now, it's not the same sword in original canon. It's just a katana that he can pull it out real fast. And just blocks Naruto's sword attack. And of course, it works. Shield does get Gara, and she sees that he's breathing still. Because, well, they didn't take much of me with Ka. Well, one tells. They only took like 25%. They're like, fuck. But yeah. So, that happened. Of course, as Savannah says, uh, Sasuke, can you stop attacking... Um... Uh, what is your name? This is where Naruto says, Naruto Zamaki Namakase Uchiha. Whichever last name you like to uh, say about. Well, yeah, you need to call me Uzumaki Namakase Uchiha. I really don't care which one you pick or send you. I just found I have words, so. though. <laughs> That's where Sasuke jumps back and says, Naruto, come back to the village. Naruto says, No. I'm not coming back to the village. And who who's gonna make me coming back to the village? Where Kakashi appeared behind him trying to karate chop him in the back of the neck. Naruto says wood style. Wood shield. A wood uh what's called a wood not wood shield. Wood wall. This is where he just did like hand signs only with one just one hand. One hand style. And a wood like wall appeared behind him before Kakashi can even hit him in the Back of the uh, neck. Of course, it was uh, Kakashi shocked and jumped back. And of course, he says, Naruto, come back to the village. Naruto say no. I refuse, Kakashi. What are you going to do about it? Kill me? Ah, uh, that would be nice if you tried to kill me. <laughs> Naruto's kind of being a little psychotic. Now, of course, it's where, well, he goes up to Kara. He kind of just sees that, well, 25% of, well, the Chicago did get stolen. But then he just says, ha, ah, damn, I gotta get that other 25% from New Kazis. Whatever. Uh, Chio, that's her name, right? Chio says, yeah, take care of Gar for me, please. I can't always be there to try to protect him. And Chio just nodded, and she says she's... And then she says, he's the Kazakage, he can take care of himself. Naruto laughs and says, okay. Naruto, he dodges an attack from Sasuke and Kakashi and uppercuts them both at the same time. Well, he kicks at what's called Kakashi and uppercuts Sasuke away from him. And of course, Sasuke tries to attack him. And Naruto kind of just smashes its face into the freaking ground. That's where Savannah says, Ice doll, ice. Naruto says, Shh, don't try to attack me. 
I don't have anything against you. Ooh, what's your name? Savannah, say Savannah. Uh, Savannah, what's it called? Um, the word Savannah say Savannah Cory. And R just says, huh, Cory means ice. So are you able to use a hydroton? And Savannah says, somewhat. I'm not from much of the Yuki clan. We are somewhat close to the Yuki clan, but not much. And Nard just says, hmm, very interesting. I hope you can actually, well, go down of the standards of the Yuki clan. I have met a Yuki clan member before. And he was strong. I hope you can actually show skill the same as him. But not the point. Don't try to attack me. You're not gonna really end up that well. And you're gonna have to carry Team 7 back. So one of them ask. Why are you doing this? And I heard the says, Because it's fun. And Savannah says, Is it really fun? And I heard the says, I have no clue about who you are exactly. You probably was from another class instead of our class. But, You probably already know me as the demon of, well, Konoha, the ninth social Cherokee. I hate being hated. So, I never had a liking personality at all. Savannah says, I know about what you are, but is it just is it necessary to go that far and trying to just destroy Konoha? Nard says, like, <laughs> it is. And so what if about it? Savannah says, nothing. And then Nard says, like, oh. Okay. Nar to disappear using body flicker. Sabana had to carry back Team 7 back to Konoha. And so where we go into Nar to go to go find the Akasis. He's trying to get information from different people and all that. And as well, Naruto's in the bar, kind of just order some drinks and all that. And yeah, this is what well, order one drink. This is where another person orders another drink beside Naruto. Naruto looks up. And it's, well, a man with white hair, a uh, red, like, color in his face and all that. And he is old. Yes, this is Jiraiya. Jiraiya says, ah, Naruto. Naruto says, old man, why are you here? And Jiraiya says, well, I just wanted to talk. Don't be so aggressive towards me. And Naruto says, like hell I care. Let me the fuck alone. That's where Naruto drinks up his drink, and he just leaves. Jiraiya says, come on, Naruto. It's, it'd be fine. Let's have fun. Naruto says, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to, well, get me drunk, and I will pass out, and you bring me to Konoha. Like hell, I'll let you do that. Jiraiya says, you became smarter, Naruto. I always was smart. You just a prick about trying to stop me. And then Jiraiya says, Naruto, it's not very nice to attack Team 7 like that. And also, not very nice to attack the pink hair girl. That's where Naruto says, like, bullshit, I care. And this is where Jiraiya says, but that's Sabana girl. He didn't attack her at all. He will attack only Sasuke, Kakashi, and Sasuke. Maybe because he attacked you first, or tried to knock you out. But, Sabana, you didn't even scratch her, just probably talk to her, I guess. Is it because you like her looks or what? Because every guy in what's called Konoha did like her because of, well, their hormones or whatever bullshit. Are you having the same effect by her looks? And I have to say no. She just reminds me of the Yuki that I met during the Zabuza fight. You think I have any emotions about love or anything like that? Think again. <laughs> you don't know anything, uh, Jiraiya. Now, fuck off. Naruto disappeared. And Jiraiya says, Damn Naruto. So yeah, Naruto... 
Even though he couldn't get information, we go into a couple weeks time skip. Naruto is trying to get information, trying to find where the Akatsuki the fuck are. Until he bumps into two people in, well, what's called trying to get information. These two people have cloaks. And one has green eyes with kind of red bloodshot eyes. And the other has a crest, like a necklace of a crest. Yes, this, this is Hiran and Kakusu. So yeah, that's where Naruto says, I see the Akatsis. I have no information on these two, but they'll work for my new attacks. But this is actually where I'm going to leave it off. I'm actually getting really, really fucking tired and actually about to pass out half the time. Like, I feel like I might be able to talk during I fall asleep. Oh, no. I'm just going to be saving some random shit during when I'm recording. But, yeah. I am tired as hell. So, um, I'm just going to end it off here to part three, maybe tomorrow. But, yeah. Have a nice potato day, potato night, potato see, potato, potato. Also, Demon, if you're watching this video, uh, I should have mentioned in the beginning. If you're watching the video and if Mighty comments, you know what you, you gotta do. You gotta ban him to the Shadow Realm. Got it? Bye-bye. That's all I wanted to mention. Potato, potato, potato.